Yo, what's Jablin's Jables? Jack Black here. I am so stoked to announce that we are officially gaming. Yes! It is on! Fortnite! Watch and learn. Brrra! Brrra! Oh, a trophy! Hey, what's up, Ninja? I know you're watching. Y'all ain't got nothing on me. I'll see you in the virtual world for a good old fashioned ass whooping. Come on! One handed gaming, bruh. Get it. Get it. I've been playing since the 80s. Gaming, gaming, gaming. All the day I'm gaming. You only get the best of the games. Yeah! Oh, my thumb's getting so tired from gaming so hard. Win the prize. Get the high score! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Ah! This game designer should get an award for best game. Also, quick shout out to HyperX. Thanks for the free merch that you sent me. I'm gonna use this. I'm not going to sell it on eBay. Ah! Take that. Eek. I can't do this. This is, this is bullshit. Ah! You guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to confess. I have not figured out the Elgato. I promise you, I swear to you, we will have gaming next week. But check this out. What's Jablin's Jables? Jack Black here. Uh, believe it or not, that was not a real gaming video. The reason it looked like a gaming video is because I'm really good at special effects, but the truth is, I haven't worked out all the kinks on the Delgado. And also, <clears throat> I need a new HDMI cable, a monster cable that I do not have yet. But next week, guaranteed, the gaming videos will flow like wine. But in the meantime, check this out. Okay, so Vectrex. This is in the 80s. After Atari, after Intellivision, there is this thing. And it basically came with its own little TV. First thing you do, you get you get the right um, screen, and you put the screen onto the screen. Beep, beep, beep. And it makes it the gameplay a little more stylized. Basically like asteroids. And if things ever get too hairy, and you wanna get the hell out of there, just fly. Yeah, let's, let's move, let's move it. Let's move that out of here. And if you're ever like, oh no, it's too much, I can't handle it. Boop. Yeah, hyperspace, boop. Hyperspace, bro. It's kind of a rad jam. I might write lyrics to it. Oh, the Mindstorm Impossible Game. That word needs work. Those lyrics are not all that good. Scramble is a pretty rad game. is always staying as far to the to the right as possible so that you can do that backwards diagonal move. It's the only way to survive. It really holds up, dude. 1982, still fun. Pretty rad, pretty rad design. Health tip. Polar Bear Plunge. It's where you jump into an ice cold pool and it is so good for you. It is great for your endocrines, for your nucleus, and for your organs. Only problem is there's a thunderstorm outside. Could be dangerous. I could get struck by lightnings. Should I do it? What do you say? Say yes! Hey so here we are with a 1928 push him up big five pinball machine. Obviously no electricity, just spring loaded. You try, you try to land it in for big points, got nothing, got out. But you get, I think you get 10 balls there. Oh man, got a, uh -oh, double, double ball. Yes! P1, 100. So this is how people entertain themselves back in the 20s. Dude, that's like pre-World War I, dude. I'm not sure about my history. I better check that on the Googs. Woo-hoo! Wow! Dude! 
P4. It's worth 300 points. It's basically a new world record for push him up big five. Ah! <laughs> a thousand points. You can't score none higher, brah. I can feel my ancestors. Old Thomas McBlackleby from Scotland when he played the old push him up big five. <laughs> Jablinski Games, see you next week! <laughs>